Hello students, in this video we'll discuss multinomial coefficients. A multinomial coefficient is the number of ways to arrange n objects into with a total of n1 indistinguishable objects and two indistinguishable objects all the way up to nk indistinguishable objects where n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus nk is equal to n capital is, so the multinomial coefficient is the number of ways to write n objects with a total of n1 indistinguishable objects of a first class, n2 of a second class, nk of a kth class. And what we'll write this as, we'll write this as from n, choose n1, n2, comma, n3, comma, all the way up to nk. And what this will be is this will be n factorial over n1 factorial, n2 factorial, all the way up to nk factorial. So this is our multinomial coefficient. So this is the number of ways to arrange n things where there are n1 of one indistinguishable class, n2 of another indistinguishable class, n3, all the way to nk. So let's see an example of this before we discuss how this, why this is true. So as an example, Let's find the number of ways to arrange three pennies, two nickels, four dimes, and two quarters. So let's think about this. So we have a total from this problem. There's a total of 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2, so that's 5 plus 6, or 11 coins. So what we have here is we have 11 slots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There are 11 slots. And we have to choose three pennies, and those pennies are indistinguishable. If you pick one penny, you don't know the difference between one penny and another. Similar for the two nickels, the nickels are the same, they're both nickels. You have four dimes, all of them are dimes, and you have two quarters. So what we can do is, from these 11 coins, we can choose three spots for the pennies. So from 11, we can choose three, and that will be the penny slots. I'll have a penny over here, a penny over here, and a penny over here. There's 11 choose 13 ways to place the pennies. Then we have eight slots that are remaining. So from those eight slots that are remaining, we have two ways to place the nickels. So I can put a nickel over here, a nickel over here. So we've taken care of the nickels. Now, from those remaining, how many spots are left? Well, we had eight, we put down two nickels, so we have six spots left. So from six slots available, we can place four down. So from six, choose four. There's a number of ways to place those dimes down there. And then finally, we have, after four remain, we have a total of two quarters. So there's two slots left. So we have two, choose two. And so if we write this out, what this is, since we can get a sense of this mathematical formula, why well, this is true, this will be 11 factorial over 3 factorial, 8 factorial, times 8 factorial over 2 factorial, 6 factorial, and then 6 factorial over 4 factorial, 2 factorial, and then 2 factorial over 2 factorial and 0 factorial. We know that zero factorial is equal to one, 
And we see all these things will can that things will cancel are the following. So this eight factorial will cancel with this eight factorial. This six factorial will cancel over here, and this two factorial will cancel over here. And what we're left with is we're left with eleven factorial over three factorial, two factorial, four factorial, and then two factorial. And so we see over here in this formula my n1. So our n capital was equal to 11. Our n1, the number of pennies, was equal to 3. n2, the number of dimes, was equal to 2. n3, I'm sorry, n2 is the number of nickels, that was 2. n3, the number of dimes, is equal to 4. And n4, the number of quarters, is equal to 2. And if we plug in this formula, we can see that on top we'll have an 11 factorial. So this n over here will translate to that 11 factorial. The n1 will be the 3 factorial. The n2 will be this 2 factorial for 2 nickels. The n3 will be 4 factorial. And then the nk over here will be the 2 factorial. So we match up everything perfectly in the formula. So when we are looking at multinomial coefficients, we can memorize this formula that n, choose n1, n2, n3, all the way up to nk, is n factorial over n1 factorial, n2 factorial, all the way up to nk factorial. Or we can think it through logically. If I have n to start with, what I can do is I can do n, choose n1, and then we would have something like this, n, choose n1. And then we'd have n minus n1, and then shoot n2 all the way down to n minus n1 minus n2 minus nk minus 1, choose nk. And the exact same reasoning will be true, but we can always think of a simple example in the back of our mind to count the number of indistinguishable classes and the number of ways to arrange them. Thank you very much.